Hey guys, Jotuna here, and guess what? It's the final episode of Kirby. Oh yeah. And we're gonna be taking out the last couple of bosses with the awesome skills of Kirby. So, yeah, let's get it going. First up, we got the king himself, King DDD. I don't know if it's really how you say it. I think it's just like King DDD. I was gonna say it's like Metsy. So anyway, uh, this I just did not know where this item was over my friend in Josh's house. And I just had an awful time with it. later in the day when I get back after doing stuff. Like I go out and don't want to actually get home until <laughs> just got home and I go and do stuff outside. Like my friend uh, Josh Silent Reggie Seal, when any of his videos the phone always goes off. He answers it, which is bad. <laughs> Sorry. I think I'm getting like a little My phone can go wanting. I'm fine with that. But I don't like King DDD fighting him. I just hate it so much. He's like really cheap. And for like the little area it gives you, just like fine. You gotta try to find the ways around him. It's like if he's just walking to you, he's either just gonna slide or he's gonna suck you up. Yeah, it's just like that. So you gotta think around those. Like there, he didn't jump up. But when he lifts his hammer, that's when you want to get close and then back away real fast. So he does that so you can get a little star. You don't get a lot of times he's mad and he's puffed up. You want to try to slide under him. It's like the corner's not the ideal place because he will just float above you and just fall right down and try to squish you. And it just sucks a lot. And I hate that. I hate that a lot. But still, in my mind, I mean, that, those are easy things to get around. So he's not really um, what I think is the cheapest character in the game. Even though I do, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, even though he can do stuff like that, I just put you right in the corner and hit you really fast. First off, so he hit you pretty hard. Uh, and Kirby, let's do a Kirby t -bag. It's like the Kirby t -bag, it's an initial thing, which I watched my friend Matt's video earlier. He does a lot of brawl matches, and he, he took my idea and did a teabag on the screen. The first time I played through this though, all King DDD, he didn't do, I didn't even notice any of the stuff, that's why I died so fast the first time, he did just that long jump, he uh, floated around a little bit, and then he just flew hammers at me, he didn't try to suck me up, he didn't try to slide into me, so I was like, wait, what are these, I don't, I don't did I not do something right in the first time, so, like, I, I didn't see those coming the first uh, time I played through this, so that's why I kind of had a hard time with it. But okay, it's okay. We got, I got through it anyway. I can't believe you can actually fly through under the hammer like that. I lagged up and I was like, oh my god, I did it. I was just, I was so static about it. It was awesome. You don't want to get boxed in the corner. You can, see, you can see me thinking, do I want to stay here or do I want to fly away? You don't, you don't do that. I learned my lesson. If he does two hammers at you, don't ever get the second one because it's just leading him to a later attack. Now, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm, I'm really tired. Today hasn't been the greatest day for me. And I was just like, I got this last Kirby episode that I should be uploading. I'm like, I'm gonna just go do that. School's going good, though. I enjoy uh, most of my classes except for one. Which is awesome, because all my teachers are freaking awesome. Uh, let's... I'm just, 
I'm not. I'm done with King DDD. He makes me so mad. Just floating around, being a penguin. I think he's a penguin. To me, he's a penguin. I'm just gonna count him as a penguin. Anybody really knows if he's a penguin or not. I don't think that attack did any damage. I'm just realizing. When I shot that star at him, I don't think I hit him at all. I don't know. That time it hit him. I need to check and see if it didn't hit him. I just realized that. I don't think it did. Which is some BS. And how is he still alive? He has no health. No health at all. King DDD, you're cheap. You're a cheater. I'm just like, yeah, Kirby Blinken. I know what just happened. Seven, eight, the Fountain of Dreams. Yeah, the Fountain of Dreams. And then it all turns to crazy darkness. And you're just like, good job. Shoot his like, and just start things at you. I hate how you can't break him though. It's like if he shoots one at you and you hit it with your star, it doesn't break. So I, I fall for that a lot. It's like, okay, I'm just gonna be able to break it. But this, this is my hard part of all this, actually. Because he keeps, like, he, those uh, four, four stars, he shoots out. Like, they stay in the center. Even though know, he moves up. get myself killed. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna break these stars, because in most video games, if you shoot at something that's flying at you, you can break it. Yeah, this is the first game over out of the whole entire Kirby episode, just making me lose points. So I'm fine with it. I don't even know what the points are for. I guess for a better overall score, but I don't really think that's all, all necessary. <laughs> I, don't, I never got a game over my first video, so I'm like, I wonder what happens when you get a game over. That's what happens. You wake Sleeping Kirby up by stealing his hat. Maybe that's a secret. Maybe Sleeping Kirby has powers in this, actually. He doesn't. In other Kirby's, I was told that he uh, can sleep and give you health, but in this one, he'll get it. He just sleeps. He's fucking lazy like Kirby is. But I guess that's fine if you're a Kirby sleeping thing. Because, I don't know, he's pink. Who cares, though? Kirby's awesome. Actually, when I play uh, Super Smash Brothers, I normally use the Sion Blue Kirby because Blue's my favorite. Oh, that was actually like I said uh, in the earlier part. So I'll try to confuse you making it go, but then he actually does make it go wherever you're at. So you got to be careful when he gets near, and then when he does that four stars, one in the corner, one right above the corner, right one from right below, and one in the other corner, he will crisscross and make him attack you. So we defeated the evil of Dreamland, and. uh... Now I feel like a big fat liar because, in reality, he's right here. You can't ever really defeat the evil. The evil will always come back, that's why they have multiple Kirby's. Look at this, look at this. I completely forgot how I was supposed to do this. I'm hitting you, what's going on? And the trick is, when he opens his cape, it turns it into like he has a tornado body or something. That's when you want him to attack. Which took me you know, a while to figure this out. It's like right away, I'm like, oh hey, wait, he has a tornado button here, so I just hit him when he opens his cape. Like, nope. And I don't know what hit me right- oh, a little- a little star that he shot out his face to get into the face coming. Fucking jerk. I don't- he's not that hard. He only has a couple attacks, which are actually very easily avoidable. Doing this last boss, Josh is like, well, don't push all the boss with the game plan. I'm like, you know what? It's a pretty good idea. So I was just like, I'll save the boss for a second video. And I was at the point where I'm just gonna wait until I get home. I don't know why I kept jumping into him. And I got it. But at least it starts you right there. So I was like, okay, good. I don't have to fight him. I don't feel that bad. It's all good. We'll just go back and fight him some more and have a good time. It wasn't a good time, though. You never have a good time when you're fighting the boss because the boss always makes you mad. 
so I was just like, you know what? I noticed a lot of these tags. I'll go right here in this corner. I'm just gonna stay right here. Hog this corner. This is my corner. I call this the awesomeness of Kirby Corner Corner. I'm just the awesomeness of Kirby Corner Corner. I'm just gonna keep that in. Can't, can't do nothing. That little run across the bottom. do damage every now and then, it's just a star power. It hurts him when you punch him. Because a lot of games I've noticed something that when you, if you have like a super, like a super ultimate form, only the final boss here, like in Sonic, I've noticed that a lot happens to you to me, you can fight a boss in like your super ultimate form, from like the chaos emotes that they have. Sonic and, uh, yeah, Shadow. Looks super awesome that they're so crazy. <laughs> like they freaking mashed up with all the Dragon Ball Z and they just push it so Yeah. This, is, this was a long fight though. Uh, I don't even know how long this fight took. Like, long, long enough to irritate me. I know that much. Because I don't like long boss fights. I mean, they're fun and all, but after a while you just get really mad and irritated. Why? You know, hit you, but then, yeah, near the end he starts going faster and stuff. I don't know why I jumped just so I was like, oh god, that's gonna be the end. I, I thought that star right there was gonna be the end. I was just like, yeah. I thought that was the end because he was going underground. I thought he was crashing. Because look how much health he has. I thought he had none. In. I can't believe I read that so well. Like, I get lucky breaks when I'm on your net. Like, stuff that should hit me doesn't. You know, just own him and look at him. He's all like, oh, oh, oh. he's all exploding. He's, I think he's like a vampire lord exploding in the light. And I'm just freaking, oh my god, the floor's exploding. I thought I was gonna die. Because <laughs> I haven't done it in a while. But, that is Kirby, guys. We just put the hole in the moon. In the frickin' moon. Now, now it's like a crescent moon, kind of in the shape of the Osiris symbol from uh, sports, and it also kind of looks like a mushroom head. Our hero Kirby has fought bravely to recover the star rod. But King Diddy D didn't mean any harm. He certainly wasn't trying to harm the Fountain of Dreams. It all began with the nightmare that appeared in the fountain. See, King Diddy D's a good guy. The nightmare road. Nightmares road to the currents of the fountain of dreams. Wrecking, wreaking havoc about the tormenting the residents of Dreamland. And when King Diddy hit the star rod, the power to the fountain of dreams. It, he was actually hiding it safely away from the nightmares. And then Kirby thought, no, not doing that. Borrowing King Diddy's powers, Kirby managed to defeat the nightmares. When did they borrow powers? Now the star rod has returned to the fountain, everyone's dreams will return. Did he eat King Diddy to get his powers? Fluff up your pillow and get ready for a good night's sleep. Maybe that's, 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 uh, I don't like that. So he just throws it. What if somebody was like flying in midair and just like, nope, mine, not going to the Fountain of Dreams? Like one of those little twaddle dudes and he's all powerful. And it's like, you have to fight him now because Kirby was being all, uh, I can do what I want. <laughs> and, well, that's pretty much the game, guys. Besides a little bit of the end credits and such, here's, I guess, the producers fighting the bosses, because now there's a boss battle you can do. I would like to know how on earth, I would never have even thought of this. It's like they time so well. And like, each boss they do pretty well. It's like my friend Josh said he never even saw that power, and I had to explain to him that it's the needle power that, um... Uh, the little caterpillar looking people have it. And then this guy's just gonna show him off because it's like, I don't need the needle power, I'm good. Oh, oh, you want some? Uh. I don't 
like how he does that. Just kind of shoots it off the side of him. And just kind of throws it out. Because he doesn't show up. case, if you're fighting an eyeball, you have to use a superhero power. But I mean, that was pretty cool how he shot the star power over and caught it in his mouth. It's gonna take a lot of practice to do. And then, of course, the ball. I never would have thought of that. I don't ever. Mostly because I hate the ball. The ball power to me is almost as bad as, well, to me, because I'm, I'm stuck with it, so. If any of you out there like it, uh, that's okay. I don't so get it. Yeah, when I I destroyed Meta Knight on like one life, or not one life, but one hit. Freaking so awesome. I would like to see people in this game just be like, uh, yeah, yeah, they're not even doing it good. Just keep missing. And what does he have? Oh yeah, why does he have the throw power? Oh, well, I guess that kind of makes sense. I never would have thought of throwing those. That's good. Except when that happens, now you're stuck in the corner. Oh. Oh, well then. Well, guys, that's the end. Now we have unlocked sub game Boss Endurance, which is pretty much just us fighting all the bosses. Well, guys, thank you for viewing, uh, uh watching the whole entire Kirby season. And, uh, I don't know what's coming next, but it will eventually soon, so I guess I will be seeing you guys later.